Welcome to Hard Dollar Self-Paced Product Training, Foundation Setup Data Lesson. This lesson will provide you with a basic overview of setting up the Master Foundation Setup Data in the library. The four tabs covered in this lesson are Account Codes, Tags, Quote Group Tags, and Units of Measure. All data that is set up in the library will be automatically brought into the new job folders when they are created. This section will discuss the setup of the account codes information for the Master Foundation setup data. Every job folder created will automatically include this account code information by default. Once the job is created, the contents can be edited within the individual job folders. The Foundation Setup Data Account Codes tab establishes master codes and descriptions for cost accounts. Account codes are used to organize the job's price structure as a budget. Account codes are assigned to the elements of the job's price breakdown structure. Account codes can be assigned directly on individual cost items, job overhead, or pay item forms. The makeup of account codes is dictated by the specifications of your cost accounting system. Each code represents one cost account. Account codes are used for cross-referencing cost breakdown structure cost items and budget line items. Once an account code has been assigned to each cost item in a job's cost breakdown structure, Hard Dollar can automatically build a budget for you by summarizing all like assignments into one budget line for each account. The master set of account codes is created and stored in the library. When one job folder is created, the master set is automatically copied from the library to the new folder. If you feel the current job requires new or different account codes to adequately organize the job's budget, you can change, create, or delete them anytime you wish. Account codes can also be created on the fly in the job folder. To create a new account code, click on the small green burst located just above the Master Foundation Setup Data tabs. We will enter some basic information for our new account code. Some of the options available in the account code record will be covered in subsequent lessons. Next, enter the account code. Then, enter the description for the account code. Select the unit of measure for the account code. Click the OK button to close the account record. This section will discuss the setup of tags information for the Master Foundation setup data. Every job folder created will automatically include this tag's information by default. Once the job is created, the contents can be edited within individual job folders. Tags are used to identify or mark records for filtering, sorting, and reporting purposes. Think of them as you would any paper tag that you attach to an object to better identify it or find it when you need it. Once data is tagged, it can be filtered, sorted, and grouped using the filtering and grouping features on the register containing the data. A master set of tags is created and stored in the library. When you create a new folder, the master set is automatically copied from the library to the new folder. To create a new tag, click on the small green burst located just above the Master Foundation Setup Data tabs. Enter the code for the tag. Next, enter a description for the new tag. In our example, we will leave the register and field specifics blank. This way, the tags will be made available to all tag fields throughout the system. When created for a specific tag field on a specific form, the list of available tags for that field will be limited to those tags assigned to that field and form. Tags that have not been assigned to a specific field and form will be available to all tag fields on all forms. Click the OK button to close the user tag record. This section will discuss the setup of the quote group tags information for the Master Foundation setup data. Every job folder created will automatically include this quote group tag information by default. Once the job is created, the contents can be edited within the individual job folders. The Foundation Setup Data Quotes tab establishes master codes and descriptions for quote group tags. Quote group tags serve to group cost items and resources together so that they can be written to the quote register form and the quote comparison and award form all at once. Line items are grouped by assigning them the same quote group tag. A quote group tag is a special tag reserved in Hard Dollar for quote management. Just like any other tag, it is a name that helps you distinguish one line item set from another. 
For example, if you are bidding a job that involves a large number of landscaping activities, you can assign each a landscape tag. Then, later in the quote phase, when requesting quotes, registering quoted prices, or awarding landscape cost items, you can call for them all at once by just calling for the landscape tag. To create a new quote group tag, click on the small green burst located just above the Master Foundation Setup Data tabs. Enter a description for the new quote group tag. Click the OK button to close the quote group tag record. This section will discuss the setup of the units of measure information for the Master Foundation setup data. Every job folder created will automatically include this units of measure information by default. Once the job is created, the contents can be edited within the individual job folders. The Foundation Setup Data Units of Measure tab maintains the English, also known as the American Standard and American Impound Systems, to metric measurement conversions. These conversion factors allow you to immediately convert quantities, which will change the unit cost and related productivity data from one measurement system to the other. Hard Dollar provided the most common conversion factors. If you need any additional conversions, you can simply add them to the library. Any unit of measure, whether English or metric, that you wish to use in an estimate must first be defined in the Foundation Setup Data Units of Measures tab. To create a new unit of measure, click on the small green burst located just above the Master Foundation Setup Data tabs. Now you will enter a unit of measure name. We will set up a new unit of measure for yards, abbreviated YD. Now we need to select the unit of measure type. The choices available include area, depth length, length, liquid volume, power, torque, unit, volume, and weight. We will select the length unit of measure type. Now we need to specify which measurement system this unit of measure applies to. The choices are English, metric, or both. In our example, we will select English. Next, we will enter the conversion factor information for our unit of measure. The conversion factor is what allows Hard Dollar to immediately convert cost and productivity data from one unit of measure system to the other. We will enter in the factor that shows how many yards is equivalent to a meter. Next, we will designate the default alternate unit of measure. In our example, that will be meter. Click the OK button to close the unit of measure record. Congratulations, you have just completed the lesson. This lesson covered the following topics. Setting up account codes, tags, quote group tags, and units of measure in the Master Foundation setup data.